Alexander the Great said, there is nothing impossible for him who will try. Nothing impossible for him who will try. Oh, sister, if you're starting with a quote like that, today must be really tough, whatever you're going to ask us to do. It might feel a little bit tough. All right, let's follow Paul back to Colossians 3, and we're going to be in verse 5 to 9. In the NLT, it says, put to death, so very final sounding, put to death the earthly sinful things which are lurking around in you. Okay, in me too, in both of us. The Amplified Bible, talking about that same verse, it says, put to death, and it goes on to describe saying, deprive of power. You know, my mind, I could just see a criminal, like a very terrible criminal that's been wanted and like there's a bounty on their head. And so finally they catch them, then what are they going to do? They're going to put them in chains. They're going to put them in an isolation place. Definitely he doesn't have a cell phone. I don't know if he's going to get to make his one phone call. But they deprive him of all power, all his connections, all his ability to do more. And that's what the Bible is saying that we need to do to those sinful, earthly ways of thinking. All right, so let's go on. And it says, that's what we're to do with those sinful longings of our earthly body with their sensual and self-centered instincts. Oh, none of us want to hear that, that we're sensual and self-centered. Self-centered, yuck. Okay, what are those sensual, self-centered things? He has a whole list of them. Immorality, impurity, sinful passions, evil desires, and greed. Oh no, sister, I don't care about money. You know what? It doesn't even have to only be money. It could be your greed for attention, your greed for food, your greed for wanting things your way. Ouch. I know, I just stepped on my own toes also. But Paul says we got to put those things to death. We have to deprive them of all power in our lives. That means they have no influence over us. Okay, let's keep reading. Because these things, okay, because of these things, the wrath of God is coming on the lives of the sons of disobedience. Okay, not just you disobeyed one time, but this is like a regular pattern for you. You don't care about God's word. You don't care about his precepts. And you know what? He goes on to say, that used to be you. That used to be me. We used to do all these things when our life was a part of the world. But what? We're living a new life. This whole chapter is about living our new life. We aren't part of the world anymore. Why? Because we already died. We already talked about that. We've died to our old self. We know the verse that says, old has come, new has come. Old is gone, new has come. Behold, all things are new. Right? We know this. So what is Paul wanting us to see here? What is that next step? He's told us to put it to death. He's told us, you know, don't give it power. And now what is he saying? Now is the time. Not tomorrow, not next January, but now is the time. Okay? The time for what? To get rid of all these things. Now here's a second list. Okay? It's not enough that we already had one list. Now we're on the second list. What is that second list? Oh, that second list hits a lot closer to home, doesn't it? Anger, rage, malice behavior, slander. You know, I used to think slander, that sounds really bad, slander. Oh, he slandered me. I would never slander. You know what I looked up slander? You know what it means? It means intentional sharing of damaging information, true or not true. So it, it could be like something is true and I share that truth and, and people would be like, oh no, see, that's not slander. I was just telling the truth. But you intentionally shared something that you knew was damaging. <gasps> Ooh, ouch. I know that hits a lot of us. It hits me sometimes. You know what? We don't think sometimes. And we have to really guard our hearts and guard our words. Okay, slander. And what was the last thing? Dirty language. Yuck. Sometimes we get mad. Sometimes we're hurt. And some of us, if we haven't renewed our mind and our thoughts, dirty language wants to come out. And he's saying, that has to die. Put it to death. Remove its power. And then he ends up by saying what? Do not lie. No, I'm just telling them what they want to hear. Don't lie. It's not true. Don't lie. Okay? Because that's not who you are anymore. That is not who I am anymore. Because we have stripped off that old, the old behavior, the old thought processes, and we have what? Put on the new. 
all the wicked ways. We don't want them in our life anymore. So going the second mile, there's a quote that says, there is a time for action and that time is now. Come on, can you say, yes, sister, I agree with you. That time is now and I'm going to take action. And what am I going to do? I'm going to leave the old things and I'm going to put on the new things. I'm going to put to death. I'm going to deprive of power because now is the time. I'm going to get all that stuff out of my life and make way for the new.